From calling his girlfriend a four to telling him he's a P for turning down a $50 million fight, there has never been any love lost between Jake Paul and Conor McGregor. And recently, the problem child said Islam Makhachev is gonna mop the floor with him. That's right, guys. Jake is favoring the Dagestani if a fight between Islam and Conor ever happens. You see, the former UFC double champ was impressed by how Islam defeated Oliveira to reclaim the title for Dagestan, but he also tweeted out that he has developed a system and tools of his own to counter that wrestling style. And as is the case with the majority of his tweets, Connor deleted it immediately afterward. This didn't go unnoticed by Jake, because he took a jibe at the Irishman, saying that the only tool Connor has developed is Twitter fingers, and that Makachev would Habib him in one round. That could be accurate, seeing that Islam is a much better striker than his mentor and friend, but I've got to admit that it came as a surprise from Paul. Because back in 2018, he was Team Connor against Nurmagomedov. Then again, that was a long time ago. Since then, Jake has challenged Connor to a fight two years later, and he even offered him $50 million. That's an insane amount of money. The Problem Child also released a video addressing Connor as Irish C, asking him to sign the contract if he's done beating up old dudes in a bar or jerking off and he's sick of effing his wife because she's hardly even a four. Jake asked McGregor if he was afraid of fighting a YouTuber with a better boxing record than him. He also threw some insults at Dana White, who had previously said that there was no way this fight was happening. To be fair, Jake was probably just trying to make them sign the contract, and he thought it was best to insult them in doing so. The fight obviously never happened. But in January this year, Jake seemed to have some regrets in what he said back then in that video. He claimed that he has matured since then and actively tries to avoid being ruthless like that now. But if things go in that direction, he isn't going to be pulling any punches either. At the same time, Jake didn't stop baiting Connor though. In fact, he spent most of 2021 doing exactly that. In January that year, right before McGregor vs. Poirier 2, the problem child hired a plane, which had a banner flying from its tail that read, Connor McGregor is scared of Jake Paul. It also had both of their faces printed on it, but it didn't stop there. You guys might remember how Poirier TKO'd the Irish mad lad. Jake saw this as an opportunity, and he had a $100,000 necklace made depicting that very moment. What's worse was that the younger Paul had the necklace sent to Dustin Poirier, who gladly accepted the gift. The, the Connor chain is back at home right now, but uh, Dustin Poirier sent me over his address, so we're getting that over to him and uh, I think he's gonna auction it off for charity. So people are gonna be, someone's gonna be able to get the notorious Conor McGregor, Sleepy McGregor chain. All right, time to ship this off to Dustin. This was one of the reasons why McGregor turned up the heat for their trilogy bout. He got all nasty and personal with the diamond, but things didn't end well for him in that match either, which just gave Jake more ammunition against Connor. He said that the former UFC champ had dominated the sport for a long time, but now he's down in the gutter. He's won only one of his last four fights, and he's all but washed up now. That certainly has a lot of truth to it, but the thing is, Connor never stopped trash talking. The one thing that has made him the star he is today. I mean, sure, he was an amazing fighter once, but there have been a bunch of tremendous athletes in the UFC, especially in recent times. Connor could really talk into the mic, and he would have backed it up inside the octagon, but with back-to-back -back defeats, that charm fell off. And the problem child picked up on that, saying that it was cool when it lasted, but now the notorious just sounds dumb. All of this hatred hasn't been one-sided, though. Connor had a thing or two to say to Jake Paul as well. Remember when the 26-year-old stole Mayweather's hat? They were doing a press conference in Miami for a boxing match between his older brother Logan and Floyd. He's just having fun now as Floyd, and they both tie up right as Logan Paul tries to pressure Floyd, trying to unload now, throwing punches from variety different angles. Floyd covering up. Logan going Floyd. None of those shots are landing clean. 
Connor saw the whole exchange and wasn't really impressed by it. He took to Instagram and called it embarrassing. Then a few months later, Connor had something to say about Jake's fight against Tyrone Woodley. The Notorious tweeted that he was salivating after the fight, hinting that the problem child would be easy pickings for him inside the ring. Jake was asked to comment on it at the post-fight press conference. He just reminded people how washed up Connor is now and that he has his eyes set on much bigger fights, which he certainly did. A year later, young Paul took on the MMA legend Anderson Silva and defeated him. But according to McGregor, before all this, Jake was a nobody. While the problem child told Ariel Helwani on an episode of the MMA Hour that he still wished to fight the Irishman, he said that Connor loved making money, and a fight between these two would easily make them each 75 to 100 million dollars. But Connor was having none of it. He tweeted that Jake has hardly done 70,000 pay-per-view buys, and that he's a flop. But since McGregor's statement he has defeated Silva and also fought his first ever professional boxer, Tommy Fury. Yep, the younger brother of the legendary Tyson Fury. And that fight was painfully close. You'd imagine that a pro boxer would make quick work of a content creator, but that wasn't the case. The match went the distance, and Fury only won on a close split decision. That just proved to the world that Jake is the real deal when it comes to boxing, and Connor can't just write him off as some kid. You see, guys, in the build-up to the Tommy Fury fight, the 26-year-old was talking to Piers Morgan. He brought up the fact that people have been calling him a fake, and no one took him seriously when he challenged the Notorious. Now that he has seen him box, he won't ever accept that fight against him, because he knows that Jake can beat him inside the ring. The problem child went on to tell Morgan how Silva had been a bigger, stronger, and faster striker than Connor, and yet he defeated him. Hell, he even knocked him down in the eighth round. So there may be a lot of money in that fight for Connor, but there's a lot of risk for him too. Connor does come from a boxing background, but he spent decades in the world of MMA. He might even win against Jake, but will it be really worth it? But maybe they can settle their bad blood inside the octagon, as the problem child recently also signed a contract with the PFL, which happens to be one of the UFC's biggest rival. I've officially signed as an MMA fighter to the fastest growing sports league in the world. The PFL, baby. He did that primarily to declare war against Dana White and his stance against the fighter's pay issue. Jake even posted a video on Instagram where he threw shade at the UFC boss for hogging all the money. He claimed that they're going to offer the fighters a much better purse in the PFL. This made Connor speak out to defend his beloved Dana. The Irish superstar remarked that Jake has no idea what he's doing and that he threw away 50% of his purse because he's numb nuts. That said, Jake has already expressed his desire to fight Nate Diaz, so maybe we'll see an MMA match between Connor and Young Paul too somewhere in the future. Those have been all the reasons why these two hate each other so much. We're back in the tree here. Right hand, or left hand, rebel. Definitely can't win rounds that way. 